Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We can go that side. Location. So Eddie, we start with you. No, thank you very much. I think to begin with, we we thank God and thank colleagues, uh, members of parliament, leaders of uh, our party, and those that were coordinating efforts to arrange finance, uh, looking at the, the short time that was available to put things in place, to have our honorable members, honorable Fuwe and honorable Munia Zulu, released from a very unfortunate, unfortunate incident that happened this morning. Um, when a member of the public, especially a public servant, offers themselves as surety, it is basically to become aids to justice, to help the court, the I mean the court, that um, whenever the accused, for example, is needed, position 
members of parliament, our lawyers and chairman for Ligo Nubutsanga and Honorable Tembo and the leaders of the party and all of us members of the party that have stood from morning up to this time you know, in solidarity to our colleagues. We know that the UPND get excited with such things. Uh, others were even speculating that since there is Korea in Musaka, it's the easiest and the fastest way to get on the Munia Zulu and on the Fule, uh, to end up not only in prison but maybe at a cholera facility because, because of the fact that uh, they were going to be put in a vulnerable place and in a vulnerable situation for such a barbaric and evil scheme to be achieved. Um, though I've spoken but I don't think we, uh, my expressions will be adequate if I don't allow colleagues on a board of opposition and lawyers just to express what you have gone through to get our colleagues uh, released. The president is also on his way to be here shortly uh, because he was concerned he didn't want to be at home while his members of parliament are uh, you know, in cells. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, countrymen and women, uh, what we are witnessing today is unprecedented. In all other jurisdictions where we have been, members of parliament are respected because they are lawmakers, they are national leaders. Now under President Daka in the HLM and the UPND, they have continued to show disrespect to members of parliament. It was only a few months ago that we saw police walk into parliament uh, precincts in an attempt to arrest Honorable Munia Zulu. We had to stop them. What we saw today was a very simple matter where the court could have simply given the honorable members some days to raise the money the equivalent to bond value. But to want to subject them to those conditions, even attempt to take them in police cells and in remand where there's cholera is really very, very sad. What we demand? We demand from President Akendi Chilema, we demand from the judiciary. Within the law, I think you can accord respect to members of another arm of government, and that is uh, the legislature. These are honorable members of parliament, voted for by the people in their respective constituencies. Behind Honorable Munia Zulu are uh, maybe 70, 100,000 voters. Behind Honorable Kube, similar numbers. These people are expected, they expect the members to be able to work to serve them and not to be treated in the manner that uh, you know we, we are witnessing today. It's very different. I'll not be saying this if they committed a, a criminal offense. They merely offer their surety to a colleague uh, in the hope that whenever uh, the, you know, the, the, the particular person was not available, they would come and stand in for them. Now, to want to subject them to those conditions is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, so, uh, like I said earlier, uh, this is only happening now. I think UPND was in parliament for 23 years. We didn't see their members of parliament subjected to these conditions. I don't think their members of parliament were trooping to police stations and courts as we are witnessing today. These members are not criminals. They are here today. They spent their whole day here today, not because they committed an offense. So it's really, really unfortunate. And our, our, our appeal, even to the Chief Justice, is that uh, these are members of another arm of government. And I think that, um, a, you know, the arms of the, there could be mutual respect between arms of government and how we treat each other. We certainly wish to put on record that we are not pleased with the manner in which these two honorable members were handled. I believe they would have been handled better. They are honorable members of parliament. They can't run away. They have fixed their boards. They've got seat numbers in the house. So the court should have taken that into consideration. And if at all the court felt, uh, you know, there's been some inordinate delay in presenting the accused persons, they should have given them sufficient time to find money to, to pay into court. Not what witness today. Thank you very much. Honorable Mundurini, I know you are a lawyer also by profession, but what does this mean? Does it mean that uh, the two are detached from the case? Yes, it does. 
They are free. We, we are happy that they are free, but we are not happy with the manner in which they gain that freedom. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, for me, first, I would just like to echo what my colleagues have uh, said, leaders of the party. We are so grateful for the role and support that we received from members of the Patriot Fund across the South, members of parliament and other senior leaders of the party who have responded in earnest and very quickly to the request that we have made. Our colleagues had come here as a matter of routine to come and explain to the court what is happening in matters where they are offered reconnaissance on behalf of an accused person. Like Honorable Mundelide has said, this is a, or an almost administrative matter. The court should have requested it was some time for these individuals to produce the accused person. And if the court felt that time for them to forfeit the reconnaissance had come, we expected the court to act judiciously. They should have been given time, a minimum period of seven days, to go and mobilize the resources. 50,000 kwacha is not a small amount of money. Somebody should have given sufficient time to mobilize that resource and make it available. But it appeared that the punishment that the court decided to give was punitive. They were sent to custody without being given the opportunity to go and raise that money. The judiciary has recently come under scrutiny by the public. People are expressing lots of confidence in the judiciary. As a member of the profession, the legal profession, I wouldn't want to join the queue of people who are, you know, expressing negative sentiments about the judiciary. I think the judiciary can raise to the occasion. I think the judiciary can actually acquit itself by beginning to act judiciously and objectively to allow that only people who have committed serious offenses are the ones who are making punitive punishments. If somebody offers himself to be a surety, there must be a way in which they can be allowed a possibility to go and raise that plan and make it available to the court. We have so many cases in which members of the patriotic front are facing criminal charges and members of parliament have acted as sureties in many, many cases. This is going to instill a, a, some feeling of fear in the MPs because I, let me tell you the truth. These are not the last arrests you are seeing of senior members of the patriotic front. We expect to be arrested, all of us, for one crime or the other, one Trump charge or another. But we want to remain united as a party and we want to remain available to offer sureties to our colleagues who are going to be arrested. And this treatment of sureties by the court just raises concern in those who are going to judge the charges, but the judge the judges. Right? So I expected and I continue to expect that these courts going forward are going to be acting more judiciously and give these people an opportunity when they are going to, to forfeit their, their reconnaissance to go and mobilize the resources and make it available to them. Thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.